Hi guys, it's Alyssa from the West Salem Boys and Girls Club. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own weekly planner. Um, having a weekly planner helps me stay organized and know what things I have to do for the week. And I thought, since most of you guys are doing school online, that this could be a good way for you guys to know when your homework needs to be turned in or what time you guys need to meet with your teachers, that kind of stuff. So let's just get started. All you will need is some coloring materials. I like to use markers. Grill markers are what I use the most and they work just great. You will also need a ruler, a pen, and a pencil. And then finally, your journal. So I have a bullet journal, which is a journal that has a lot of small dots on the page. Um, you can find these pretty cheap on Amazon, but they're also at Michael's and a store like Walmart and Target. If you don't want to use a bullet journal, you can also just use a regular line notebook. Um, so now I'm just going to show you guys two different ways to create your weekly schedule. With journaling, it helps to sometimes outline how you want your page to look with the pencil first but usually you should figure out what things you need to include on your page. My weekly planners all include all the days of the week, the month, and the exact number dates. As you can see, I'm putting colored lines side by side a fourth the way down the page, making sure they're even and the space in between are equal as well. I did about 10 to 14 spaces in between. I chose to use purple because it reminds me of spring, but you're more than welcome to use any color you want. Just make sure that it's not too dark because we will be writing on top of the lines. So I am making one line for each day of the week and two extra lines for notes and a this week portion, and you'll see that in a second. done right each day of the week on the lines. I work backwards so that's why you see me starting on Sunday. The bottom line is for notes and the first line on the left page is for this week and you'll see that in a second. done I'm going to start drawing lines so they can include the date and month. I use a ruler to make sure the lines are straight but you don't need to if you don't want to. Inside of the lines I'm going to put the month on the right and the date on the left. for the fourth week of the month and then 
and you can put the month on the top. I did mine in cursive and add your tasks that you have for the week. Add some doodles if you want to make your page look more interesting and fun um, if you have extra time this is a great thing to do you definitely don't have to um, and I just added some lavender to fit my purple theme going to be showing you how you can make a weekly planner using notebook paper. Like I said, it helps to outline what you want the page to look like with a pencil first so that way if you make any mistakes you can erase them. For this schedule, I only did Monday through Friday and then had a this week box, but you guys are more than welcome to do all the days on two pages. So I'm basically doing the same idea as the other journal, but instead the dates aren't side by side and they're just stacked on top of each other. some more flair and now I'm going to put the dates on the side. Now you can just put your tasks on the bottom. I wrote a couple tasks that I thought maybe you guys would be doing at home. Also apparently I forgot how to spell. <laughs> At the end, I add some color and doodles to make it more fun. And then finally, I just want to give a shout out to Journal Beanie for the journal ideas. There's lots of different journaling templates you can do if journaling is something you find fun. So let me know if you're interested in seeing some other kinds of journaling templates. Thank you guys for joining me today tutorial useful and I would love to see some of your guys' creations so send them in and we will share them on our page. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!